Christy, you mentioned chaotic dating kind of at the opening. You want to tell us some of the chaotic stories that you're dealing with? <laughs> um, yeah, so I would say, so I've been single for about a year now. And the last person that I dated, um, he was a lot younger than me. And I, I always- was a lot younger? Uh, eight years. Okay. I mean, and so when you're talking about I'm in my mid thirties, he's in his twenties mm -hmm. to me, that feels like we were, we were literally speaking a different language. Um, and I don't know if it's a generational gap, that type of thing. So I found that to be extremely chaotic. And I always got like the guys that are in their twenties talking to me and like harassing me until I'd be like, okay, I'll go out on a date with you. You know what I mean? So that was, that was what I would consider very chaotic because I didn't, you know, really understand some of the like things that he was doing. They have different acronyms. Like they're just from a different generation. So I would call that chaotic. And I dated a couple younger guys and I actually am not ever doing that again. So why did you do it? So, I mean, we had a great connection at first. He was super good looking guy. Um, and, you know, things like from a physical perspective were all the way there. But as time went on, I realized that the values and the morals didn't align and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to go anywhere long term. So I decided like, no more. It's not, it, it's not going to happen anymore. I always find that interesting because there's always a gal that's like, yeah, you know, I was dating this guy. He was a lot younger than me, blah, blah, blah. And inherently women are generally attracted to guys seven to 10 years older, right? Um, guys, attraction comes with wealth, success, influence, connection, social network. It's more than, you know, just does he look nice in a bathing suit sort of thing, right? Um, whereas, you know, you get the common trope like you know leonardo dicaprio he's always got a girlfriend and as soon as she hits 25 he breaks up with her and he trades her in for another one right and it's like i don't know if women try to replicate that they're like oh that looks interesting leonardo does it so let me give it a try sort of thing and i get that there's a lot of like guys that are older or as they get older they don't function properly sexually because they kind of like let themselves go they get fat their cardiovascular system sucks they don't work out there's a whole bunch of reasons for it but it, it's always interesting to me you know like you think you're going to try it and, and it'll work out but it never seems to work out has it ever worked out for anybody, you know, dating a dude that's a lot younger, like 8, 10, 15 years young? No? Okay. Um, what are the stories you got with, with the chaotic dating? You said you hold, had a whole bunch. I will say that I also, um, I dated somebody that was even younger than that. And I moved to him. Oh, so he was 20, he was 23 and I was 33. And you moved to um, him? I moved him in and I felt like I literally moved my nephew in and I was taking care of him and he literally had me in his phone as stepmom. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was, it, you don't feel sexy when you get to that point. Like you don't feel, you know, it, it just wasn't. And I was totally so turned off by that. I'm like, all right, so I need to like, you know, it was kind of like fun trying something new, but it didn't work to your point. It, it doesn't so work. your dad was around at that time. What did he say about, 23 year old living in your um, house he did not approve and you didn't listen to him i i didn't listen to him but that voice in my head like after he gave his opinion was always like you know what it's it's not gonna work i, no. I knew it wasn't gonna work but it was kind of like a safe bet because i wasn't gonna get super close with him where i knew it didn't have that longevity factor so i was yeah. like yeah well and then i told him to go home to mommy eventually so i gotta ask you this question because i mean women are generally interested in a man's future. Like what can he do to preside, protect, provide for me, all this sort of thing. Are you concerned at all about your past decisions, dating younger guys when it comes to dealing with a new man in your life? I am because it was like a very weird role strain as I was like the breadwinner for certain situations. And yeah. that is not something that I want for my future. I want it to be in, in a different way. I want it to feel more like they're an equal, somebody that I respect as an equal, competency wise, intelligence, um, career, and, and like being established overall in life. I think, I think that in my future, that's the lesson that I've learned is like, that's not going to work. We're in two different places in life. So we're in different, we're not only in different chapters, we're in different books on different bookshelves. So what do you do for a living, Christy? I'm a business operations project manager. That's a lot of words for something. I, I don't know what that means. What do you do? <laughs> it's it's a fancy term for um, operation, operational project management for, um, I work for a global advertising company. So I do various different projects with internal okay. stakeholders and external ones. 
So as far as a guy that's your equal, so what would he need to earn as far as, um, you know, an annual salary to be with you? Um, it would have to be a six figure income. No. Um, I, I think that would, I mean, but in today's economy, I mean, I think that's, that's a pretty normal thing for at least, I mean, I would think it is for somebody th mid to late thirties, I would say that that's a good, um, goal to have, to like have that income earning potential at, by that age. Are you running into a lot of guys that meet that criteria? Uh, you know, what I would consider a high value man, I feel like there's very slim pickings. What is a high value man? High value man is what they would call toxic masculinity, what the what the masses would call that. I don't believe that's a thing going on what you know Beth had suggested earlier. Um, it's it's being a man in every sense of the word. It's it's being competent, it's being a go-getter. That means that there's gonna be a lot of failures along the way, but overall you're successful. You can lead me. And I've never really been with a man that could lead, um, that I trusted to lead. And I have no problem submitting to a man worth submitting to, but I just feel like I haven't found that yet. So you will submit to a man that's worth submitting to? Absolutely. Because women today are very difficult to lead. Even, even you know, conventional, anti-woke, conservative, feminine women can be very difficult to lead still. A lot of guys myself included, will find difficulty leading a woman that even, you know, says that they want to enter your frame and be useful and all that sort of stuff. So always find And, you know, the other part of that, too, is though, as soon as a guy starts hearing stories about, oh, well, you know, Chrissy dated a guy that was eight years younger. He moved a guy in that was 10 years younger into her house. You know, he was in her phone, his stepmom sort of thing. You know, I think high value guys are going to start looking at you like, um, OK, cool. I'm going to go over here now sort of thing. Um, so you kind of limit yourself to, you know, the dating scope of guys that you're looking for as far as a high value man. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.